Hi, everyone. I'm Andrew Stutz, and I'm a group product manager focused on PagerDuty for customer service operations. And I'm excited to demo some new enhancements to our ZS integration. But before we dive straight into a demo, we'd love to align on our three key use cases for PagerDuty for customer service operations. The first is what we call 24 by 7 after hours, immediately empowering your customer service organizations to go on call with PagerDuty to help increase your service availability while reducing the costs associated with traditional on-duty staffing models where your staffing agents around the world follow the sun. The second, what we call stakeholders. Every customer service agent should be a stakeholder in incident response. They need to understand what's going on in your technical infrastructure, how it's impacting your business, and ultimately how it impacts your customers as they seek to get information and updates to proactively deliver the right communications to your customers. This use case also extends beyond customer service to other personas like account managers and customer success managers, as well as key executives at the company. The third use case is what we call full case ownership, which really builds on our methodology of full service ownership, where we're finding that customer service is the missing link in DevOps. Full case ownership empowers customer service agents to actually run from start to finish with the case to resolution, giving them a direct line to the engineering, dev, and IT teams that can actually help them resolve the case. We're often finding that customer service is held accountable to ticket resolution times, yet they don't often have the tools or the empowerment to actually resolve the cases from start to finish. This also gives engineers a direct line of escalation back to their customer liaison and customer champion to help them understand what the customer impact is and to help them deliver the right communications to the impacted customers. So I want you to imagine that that same premium customer can't check out, except this time it's during after hours. It's at night, it's on the weekend, and that customer submits a ticket through your portal and they specify that this is a very urgent problem. So they submit that ticket. I'm automatically gonna get a page on my mobile phone. I can see here that there's help needed during after hours and then a premium customer can't check out. I can click into this instant and acknowledge. And as customer service, I'm probably going to open up my laptop and get back into Zendesk. And as I can see here, inside Zendesk, inside our incident command console, I can see that PagerDuty in fact automatically created an incident for me and that I've acknowledged it. And you know, as I investigate, I'm struggling to solve what the problem is with checkout. It's after hours, nobody's online. I can use PagerDuty to escalate to the right engineering team to help me get help during after hours when I need it most. If I select escalating this to the e-commerce platform team, I can specify after hours help needed, add those responders. That's also gonna help me get in touch with the right engineering team so that we can work together on resolution. As that engineer gets woken up as well, page on their mobile phone, it might be jumping inside of Slack or Microsoft Teams. And let's say they get to resolution. Can also resolve. Customer service back in Zendesk can see that that incident was resolved and can close out the ticket. And so with the power of PageDuty for customer service operations, use case 24 by seven after hours, rather than sitting here idle or having to be staffed throughout the night or on the weekends, or sitting here in front of my computer screen refreshing to see if there are any changes in the queue, PagerDuty pulled me in when I was needed during after hours to support this premium customer. 
and also allowed me to loop in the right engineering team, page and engage them, loop them in, and allowed us to work together so that we could resolve this problem before even the next business day started. As a customer service agent, it's extremely important for me to understand if there's a technical outage going on right now and if it's impacting customers. Here, I'm responding to a ticket where a premium customer can't check out. With the power of PagerDuty for customer service operations, I can immediately see that there's a problem going on right now with fulfillment. As I click on PagerDuty's status dashboard to learn more, I can see that there's a P1 incident going on right now on fulfillment. There's no problems going on in inventory. There's nothing going wrong with the e-commerce marketplace. And then in fact, checkout isn't working on fulfillment. As I click here to learn more, I can subscribe as a stakeholder and get updates in the notification channel of my preference as this instant progresses to get the right communications and the right status updates from engineering and also to get a nudge from PagerDuty when I need to reach back out to that customer to close the loop. As a customer service agent, I can also link this technical incident to the premium customer's complaint that there's something going on with checkout. This helps to start quantify the impact of technical incidents into your customer base, as well as makes it more easy for me to get updates and notes from engineering. As engineering progresses along, as we can see here, Mary's been working on this incident. As Mary gets to resolution, once she resolves that incident, she can leave a key status update that's gonna get delivered to both customer service as well as any other key stakeholder throughout your company who's subscribing to PagerDuty's incident status dashboard. This was due to a bad deploy. Should be all fixed now won't happen again. What that's gonna do, it's gonna resolve that incident and push those updates to all of those key stakeholders, including customer service. As we go back to our incident status dashboard, we can see that all the business services are now green. We can see fulfillment is clear and that all of our other business applications across the business are operational. And as I go back into Zendesk, the customer service agent I would have been notified by PagerDuty Given I subscribe to that incident to come back and check the ticket and the incident, I can see that the linked incident is in fact resolved. I can see the resolution notes from engineering that was posted. And I can get back to this customer and say, all fixed, sorry about that, won't happen again. And go ahead and close out the ticket. Without having the power of PagerDuty for customer service operations and our new status dashboard inside of Zendesk, I would have been working my ticket queue in Zendesk with no idea that there was a problem going on with fulfillment, that checkout wasn't working, and that Mary and John and the other engineers were actually already on it. This saved me hours of time triaging and having to escalate in other channels like in my chat ops tool or trying to find the right team to escalate this to in terms of checkout or that fulfillment service. I want you to imagine that you're a customer service agent and a premium customer also can't check out, but this time, Mary and John and the other engineering teams, they don't know about the problem. There's no problem going on with fulfillment. If I click here on PagerDuty status dashboard, I can see that fulfillment is all green, inventory is green, the e-commerce marketplace is all green, but yet a customer is complaining that they can't check out. As a customer service agent, I determined that I need to escalate this to engineering and dev and IT. With the power of PagerDuty for customer service operations and our new incident command console, I can immediately escalate and create an incident for the right development team. So here I can select escalating this ticket and creating an incident on the checkout service. And select the priority to be P1 and give a little bit more context to engineering. I think this is impacting multiple 
premium customers need help ASAP and immediately create that incident. Now, what that's going to do, it's going to break down the wall between me, development, and IT and escalate and page the right engineer on the checkout service. As we can see here, John Warfin was notified that there was a problem on checkout and immediately get the right engineering team on it. Now, because this is a premium customer and I've escalated to engineering, I may want to make sure I keep key stakeholders inside the company up to date. With the power of our new incident command console, I can run a response play. What we call a major incident retail stakeholders response play. Now, what this response play is going to do is it's going to help automate the mundane workflows of having to keep all the right stakeholders up to date on what's going on with this escalated incident with the click of a button. As I run that response play, immediately stakeholders are, are getting status updates based on their preferences, notification preferences that this incident has been escalated and that John and I are already on it. Now, I want you to transition from customer service to engineering. So as I mentioned, with full case ownership, I broke down the wall between customer service and engineering, and John got notified. Given this is during business hours, John can work right where he is inside of Slack and acknowledge the incident. So John acknowledges that incident. He can also leave a note for customer service. I'm on it. Thanks for flagging. I had no idea checkout was broken. Submit that. That note is going to get synced back into Zendesk. And let's say John is struggling to get to resolution. He can also run a response play directly from Slack. What we call a big red button response, which is going to help automate the mundane workflows of creating a Zoom conference bridge and getting the right response team on a bridge so that they can figure out what's going on. Now, as the team is on that bridge, everything is being tracked by PagerDuty behind the scenes. We can see that the right customer liaison is on the call, the right deputy, the incident commander, the internal liaison, and we even have a scribe on that call. Now let's say they work together and get fastest to resolution. John can go ahead and close out that incident. All fixed was due to a bad deploy. Post that as a resolution note to our status dashboard, also keeping customer service and other stakeholders in the loop and resolve that incident. Before PagerDuty for customer service operations, full case ownership use case, I as an agent would have had no direct line of escalation to development and IT. I would have had to manually escalate this ticket through other means. It would have been extremely difficult for me to understand who the right engineer and the, who the right development teams are to escalate this problem. With full case ownership, I was able to break through that wall, get the help that I needed so that we can close out this ticket for the customer. So I can see here, refresh my screen. And I can see that that incident is resolved. All fixed. Sorry about that. And submit my ticket as solved. 